This week, I team up with Gavin Hoey for a two-part episode about compositing in Photoshop. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace, where you will learn innovative techniques on shooting a wide range of photography. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV and you've probably noticed this guy right here, Mr. Gavin Hoey. Welcome to the show, Gavin. I know, thank you very much for having me and welcome to London. Yeah, London is awesome. Um, one of the problems though is I didn't plan enough time to go and see all the great stuff. There's uh, Houses of Parliament and Big Ben right behind us, um, which is really pretty awesome. Um, and uh, I didn't get to shoot all the shots that I wanted. So is there anything you can think of maybe that we could do that mm, maybe I can <laughs> fake a photo shoot? Uh, in London? No, yeah. but no. in Phoenix. Oh, yeah. That could work. So why don't you head back to Phoenix, Okay. go to a shoot in Phoenix, and then we're going to Photoshop it. Now, what I'd suggest is let's change the background from Phoenix to London. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, now that means that I'm going to have to light it very specifically so that it makes your job easier because I'm not going to do it. Yeah, anything that makes my job easier is, yeah. yeah, that's good. Make it as easy as possible for me to Photoshop and I'll be really pleased. Okay, yeah, you're going to Photoshop it. You're going to take a picture of somewhere in England. I'll find somewhere in London. We'll find somewhere oh, London, amazing wherever. background to add into it. An amazing yeah. picture from Phoenix. Yeah, we can do, we can okay. do this. Yeah, and so we'll do a two-parter. I'll shoot the picture in Phoenix and you'll Photoshop it in jolly United Kingdom. Brilliant. So, so what are you doing standing here now then? I don't know. I, go, I should probably just yeah, go, go. Heading back to Phoenix. Phoenix, go now. Bye. Go All on, right. off you go. Well, I'm back here in Phoenix, Arizona, and it is hot here. So I'm going to take off my coat. It's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit hotter here than it was in jolly old England. Well, what we're going to do is I'm going to shoot a photo of Sam Kazoot. So Sam, come on out. You might remember Sam from a bunch of videos that we've done together. And what we're going to try to do is play Sam in England somewhere. So what I've done is I've built a cocoon right behind me. So Sam, hop back there. Now what's up with the cocoon? Well, the cocoon is a place where we can bounce light around because when Gavin takes this photo, I want him to be able to place it inside a photo and have the light match. In other words, the light in his photo needs to match the light in my photo so it doesn't look too artificial. And so this cocoon is going to allow us to do just that. I have this really big source of light right up over there, and those are two 4x6 soft boxes, and that emulates that gloomy overcast sky that we see in England so much. But I do want to have it a little bit directional, so I put it up way behind, and then what's going to happen is that cocoon of light is going to let the light bounce all around. Now the reason that we've done it this way is I want to show you how I built the cocoon. I've used these uh, 4x6 foot uh, panels of uh, foam board and they're white and so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to sort of surround Sam with these. So I'll put one of these guys right here and over here and then what will happen so if I get that to not fall over is now she is stuck inside an enclosure and we're going to have light coming from behind and then we'll have uh, light bouncing all over. So we have flat light, but it is directional. Now to really understand all of this and how it works, we need to go inside there so I can show you exactly how I'm going to be shooting. So to do that, we're going to shift to a handheld camera and I'll give you a little tour of the cocoon. Well, now we're inside the cocoon and before I show you around inside our little space here, let me talk to you about three things that we're really concerned about. Number one is I need to make sure that I use a lens that matches the lens that Gavin uses. Now, I don't know which lens he's going to use, but I know he likes to use a 24 to 105 L lens for his Canon camera. Well, I don't have one, but I do have a 24 to 70 L lens. So I'm going to use that lens and I'm going to shoot about 35 millimeters because I've noticed he likes to shoot with a wide lens. And that way the distortion on my picture will match the distortion on his picture. The second thing I want to make sure I do for Gavin is to give him a background that's easy to drop out. And so what we've done here is we're going to use these panels back here to give him a nice solid background. And we've chosen a dark outfit for Sam so that there's a really crisp line. Now we might have some issues with Sam's hair, but uh, Gavin will show you how to work with that. But we're also going to do something a little bit later. We're going to just stick a hat on Sam so it gives him a nice clean line even on her hair. Now, the other thing that we're going to do is we need to make sure that the light matches the light in his photo. Well, guess what? I don't know what photo he's taken. I don't know what the light is. And so let me show you how we've set up the light. So come into the cocoon really fast and we'll show you exactly what's going on with the light. 
So Sam is gonna stand about where she is right now and you are now in the position that my camera will be in when I'm shooting. Notice we have a nice white background so it's gonna be easy for him to cut Sam out of this. We have these really big lights that I showed you earlier up here. Those are gonna give us nice directional soft light that come from the side and they will match that sort of gloomy overcast sky that we see in England. So we have maybe the sun coming through clouds and nice soft light coming this way. But what if he shoots a photo where the light isn't coming from behind? What if it's coming from the side or from the front? Well, we have that covered. So instead of moving all of our lights, we're gonna move ourselves. And so what we can do here is I can just move my camera around and we can have Sam twist with me. And what happens is the light goes from side light to front light to back light, et cetera, and it will work just fine and all we have to do is make sure we adjust maybe some backgrounds so that we make sure that we always have a nice clean background behind Sam so we have our light in a stationary position but because we have a cocoon here we can move around. Now the other thing that we can do is Sam will come right back over here so we can have Sam away from this wall and that means that we're going to have light hitting the side of her or we can move her back a little bit closer to the wall and then the light is going to move in front of her and actually miss her and then we don't have those really strong highlights on her face. So we have a lot of options here in our cocoon of lights. So we're going to be moving panels around, creating directional light from different sides, front, back, inside, and that way when Gavin gets these pictures, he should find one that closely matches the light in his scene. So without further ado, let's start shooting. <laughs> Well, one of the issues with extracting photos from a background, especially with people, is hair because we have all these little fine strands of hair here and that can really be problematic. And so I'm gonna help Gavin out just a little bit by changing the appearance of Sam using some very, very simple tools. So let's do that right now. And just like that, she has a hat and coat on and that's really gonna help out because now we have a very, very distinct line so Gavin can uh, do that really, really easily. He can just chop you right on out. So we're gonna shoot some pictures with a hat and coat and you look all bundled up like it's freezing even though it's 100 degrees here, but that's pretty cool. All right, let's start shooting and we'll get a few more shots to send over to Gavin. We have the shots right here on this little card and I'm gonna put that in my pocket for safekeeping because I need to go back to jolly old London and meet my pal Gavin Hoey. So without further ado, here I go. All right, I'm back. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> I know, I've got a Learjet. I just went right back. I, I waited so, here the whole time. Now, that took forever. I know. So look at this picture and I think I did a good job. Why don't you take it, throw it into Photoshop, do your wizardry and take it from here and we'll join you in uh, take and make great photos. Brilliant, I'm gonna go do that right now. All right, now uh, he's doing that. What you should do is to subscribe to Adorama TV right here on YouTube because you don't wanna miss any of the great articles and videos and things that are on the Adorama Learning Center and of course on the Adorama YouTube channel. So make sure you do that and don't forget that Adorama is the place for all of your photography needs. So if you need anything uh, related to video, still photography, printing, even office supplies and home electronics, just go to adorama.com and check it out. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again right here on Adorama TV. Well, hey everybody, we are here. Wait, I didn't even explore that. Wow, we should do this. I'll do your accent, you do mine. I don't have an accent. Right. All right. Okay. You've got a stronger clap than I've got. Well, sometimes it's, it's hit or miss. Sometimes it's this. We've got a lot of outtakes of this. <laughs> I don't think I've a double clap. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Look how short he is. He's so short. I should stand up. I should be sitting on the, <laughs> on the end. <laughs> That's what you should do. You look like everybody. <laughs> if you're ready to upgrade your system, we want to help. We can buy your used photo and video equipment and we'll give you an honest, fair offer. Visit Adorama.com for more information.